Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be another photography based video, so keep watching and see what develops. So guys, in this little photographic project, which has been inspired again by Stephen Joins, so I'll put a link some if you want to go and check his channel out. So for this video, we're going to need an apple, a nice shiny apple guys, we're going to need an apple, yeah. We are going to need a uh, glass with uh, something that we can impale the apple on, so we're going to need that guys. And we are going to need some torches, uh, sort of you looking around uh, away from the camera. So we're going to need some form of uh, lighting, some torches. So what we need to do guys is we need to take this apple and impale it on there somehow and then put the whole lot into the uh, glass like that, okay? So that's the plan and that's the project. So we're oop, checking all my stuff on the floor. So, and you'll need to eat the apple afterwards. <laughs> so guys, that's what we're gonna try and do. It all will be revealed uh, when I set the um, video up. We'll do the, uh, set the video up, set the, um, props up if you like guys so I'm gonna to have to move the camera where the camera's actually stood I'm gonna to have to put a table and uh, got to try and make it so I don't trip over anything um, I'm hoping to be able to film the setup but definitely with with the lights on and I will also try and film uh, the setup as the camera will see it but anyway guys I'm waffling a bit here so bear with me guys because I'm now going to uh, move all this away and uh, set up for the photographic uh, part of the video. So guys, this is the setup, but just bear in mind that uh, when I actually do the photography, we'll be much more uh, tighter cropped in on the apples, so we're not gonna see any of the background. So this is what we've got set up, guys. So what we have is the apple is uh, impaled on the chopstick, and then the apple and the chopstick is then uh, resting in the glass. But I've had to put uh, sugar in the glass because uh, is a little bit uh, top heavy and uh, I might even uh, change the glass. I'm not sure at the minute, but uh, the glass uh, pays no uh, part in the photography other than supporting the, the apple. But uh, once we've got this uh, in this position, we take our torch and then we just move it around the top of the apple like that. So we're just illuminating the apple. So that is the actual setup. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is that we're going to go over some of the camera settings and uh, I might uh, change glasses just in case. But that's the setup, guys. So uh, I'm just going to now uh, talk to you about uh, the camera settings. So, folks, camera and camera settings. So for this one, I'm going to be using my Nikon D810 again. And uh, this time I'm going to hook that up to the uh, Nikon 24 to 70 lens. Now, in the last two videos, that uh, photographic videos I did, um, I use my Nikon 105mm macro lens, but uh, as we're a little bit tight for space in here, I don't think that would be suitable. So uh, that's my camera and camera settings, but you just use whatever you've got. Uh, you, you use smartphones, you can use uh, compacts. So now the settings, now this is the important stuff. So the camera settings, now the camera needs to be on manual. Yes, manual, so you've got to steer clear of anything automatic. The camera has to be on manual. So uh, that's the camera setting, manual. Now you need to have the ISO at 100 or as low as you can get. Now my Nikon uh, D810 goes down to 100, so you want your ISO at 100. Uh, your aperture, f8 thereabouts, round about f8. It doesn't matter particularly, as long as you're round about f8. So that's the uh, the lens. Now shutter speed, we're going to start off at around four seconds. Now this is why we need to be in manual because you're gonna to have to adjust the shutter speed. So you're gonna start off with around about um, four seconds, but that is the only setting that you will actually change in the camera, if you like, guys. Uh, you leave the aperture set at uh, f8 and uh, you're going to change the shutter speed so uh, basically if uh, when you take your photograph if it's too dark then you'll increase your shutter speed which is in effect letting more light into the camera if it's too bright then you can decrease your shutter speed which will allow less light to hit the sensor it will be open for uh, i think i've got that right open for uh, a less amount of time 
So that's the, the camera settings and uh, one last setting that we're going to need to change is autofocus. You have to be in manual focus because what happened is as soon as you press the shutter to release the, the shutter, press shutter button, the camera is going to try and focus and if it's dark it's going to struggle to focus, it'll hunt to find focus point. So again you can focus uh, with, with your AF uh, while it's bright but then turn the AF off when you're actually ready to take the photograph. So I think we've covered everything guys, uh, let me get this right, so manual on your camera, ISO 100, F8 on your lens and uh, start in shutter speed at around 4 seconds but that one is the variable one. Now uh, for this one I'm going to be using spot metering again I think, I'll try spot metering on the camera and um, again I'll probably use self timer, if you've got your self timer um, I would suggest you use it and uh, if possible mount your camera on a tripod but if not it can be mounted in front of uh, your subject but just be a little bit careful you use books and such like but if you've got a tripod then uh, use that so I think that's basically it guys uh, just a matter of setting everything up and uh, be careful uh, when you've got everything set up because you're going to be walking around uh, in the dark and uh, basically what we're going to do is now I'm going to set everything up I will try and uh, film the initial part uh, with the lights down but I don't know how well the uh, little Canon EOS that I'm filming this on uh, will actually um, cope with the with the lighting conditions but I think that's it guys I think we've covered everything now um, yes so I'm now going to uh, set everything up so uh, for me that's going to take probably about half an hour to uh, swap everything around but for you that's coming up next so guys this is what it's going to look like uh, as a picture so what i've got guys is i've got the torch just held above the apple just out of sight so what we're going to do is in the in the, when we're taking the photographs we're just going to move the the torch around like this maybe higher maybe you know we're just going to move it around change just different position on different shots something like that I'm just going to move it around yeah so that's the plan now because we're using such a slow shutter speed anything below which is sort of down here in my fingers right anything down there it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be picked up in the photograph because it will be obviously that'll be dark and uh, it'll only be picking up everything that the torch is illuminating I think I've explained that uh, pretty well but uh, that's what you're going to do guys so this is going to be the setup now bear in mind we're going to be on a totally different camera totally different lens and we're going to have uh, obviously a four second or more shutter speed so that's the plan so uh, I'm now going to uh, set up and take the photographs and uh, we'll see how we get on so folks that's the photography done and uh, I must admit it didn't go uh, quite according to plan um, when I put the uh, the apple uh, in the glass it was still uh, it was top heavy so I put some sugar in the glass to try and weight it uh, down but that uh, still didn't work uh, very well it was still very um, unbalanced very wobbly and I was just frightened that uh, the whole lot was going to come crashing down so uh, I uh, tweaked the setup a bit. I did take a photograph of uh, the uh, the change of um, support for the Apple. A um, bit of a Heath Robinson affair, but uh, hopefully it's worked. Uh, so I had to change that. Um, the lighting uh, initially didn't go quite according to plan. The uh, both the torches that. Uh, I used uh, it was too bright um, so what I did in the end was wrap some um, kitchen roll kitchen towel around the the light source and uh, that sort of dulled it down a bit and also uh, held the torch uh, further away um, so that uh, hopefully that uh, worked um, looking on the uh, screen on the back of the camera I think I've got some good photographs uh, only time will tell um, so I uh, shot everything in RAW, so uh, I've got to convert it. Uh, so just going over the camera settings again, um, just uh, to make sure uh, we're clear on what the settings were. Um, so you have to do this in manual, guys, um, because you need uh, you need a fixed aperture and uh, you need to use the shutter speed to adjust 
the exposure uh, to, to get more or less light. Uh, I actually worked, I think the uh, went down to um, two and a half seconds uh, up to about six seconds. I think that was where I sort of um, bracketed the uh, shutter speed around. Um, and I sort of moved the camera in and out or, or changed the, the point of focus to something, not the point of focus, the um, the frame in, if you like, guys, to um, see which, which give the best uh, picture overall. So uh, it was a lot of um, sort of messing about, playing about. Um, so hopefully I've got it to how I want it to. I have to say it was a lot of fun, um, a little bit um, frustrating at times, but definitely a lot of fun. So uh, hopefully the photographs are uh, going to do it justice so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to uh, put them up on the computer and uh, have a look and uh, convert them all to uh, JPEG and uh, so we can have a look at them and uh, probably get a little bit of tweaking I don't want to do too much tweaking but uh, you know just a little bit so uh, that's my little project now for probably an hour or a couple of hours so uh, that's me uh, sorted for a couple of hours but uh, you will get to, to see the slideshow next So guys, there you go. That was the end result of a couple of hours worth of photography. Enjoyed that one. That was a bit of fun, that one. I uh, must admit, I found it the hardest one so far. So, Stephen, if you're watching this video, make them a bit easier. Because <laughs> I did find that one a bit difficult, to be honest. Uh, I think my problem was the uh, the lighting and uh, supporting the Apple. I think that was the, my biggest issue. So, uh, make the next one a little bit easier, Stephen, <laughs> if you're watching this one. But uh, other than that, I did enjoy it. Um, I was going to uh, do it with the compact and uh, uh, my smartphone. But to be honest, guys, I just literally ran out of time because it is now uh, quite late in the evening. And I just literally ran out of time to uh, try it with the smartphone and uh, the compact. But uh, it can be done. If you, do, if, you got, if you do it with a smartphone, your smartphone has to have a to be able to do photography manually most of them will have they think they call it like a pro mode but you have to be able to do everything manually uh, the same as with the compact but uh, i said guys i literally ran out of time on this one so uh, it's getting quite late in the evening now but uh, i did enjoy that one not uh, didn't get as many good results as uh, i first uh, thought i, I had uh, when you sort of look on the screen at uh, the camera they look brilliant but when you actually put them on the the laptop screen then you suddenly realize that uh, Actually, the framing wasn't uh, as good as uh, I thought it was. But anyway, I'm waffling a bit here. But uh, I did enjoy that one. So uh, next one, Stephen, keep it a little bit easier. <laughs> and uh, we'll have another go at something else a bit later on. I've got a couple of projects me own I want to try. But uh, I've got to practice with them first. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, cheers for that. And uh, if you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. So bye-bye for now. Gin and tonic, by the way. Uh, lovely jubbly. See you again guys, thanks for watching.